There is something that needs to be said about the Brooklyn Nets. According to stories today, Kyrie Irving is getting ready to settle back to Brooklyn because there's no market for him. Brooklyn, three years ago, bell at the ball. And today, it looks like Ben Simmons and Kyrie will be joined at the hip if KD gets traded. Biggest mess in the league. Memo to NBA execs. You get what you seek. Memo to people. You attain what you want. If you attract a team full of egos and divas, you'll get attention, but little else. And Brooklyn was always seeking attention. The Bucks sought a long-term deal with Giannis and continuity. It's exactly what they've had. The Warriors seek culture and development. It's what they have. Brooklyn sought attention, and they got it. Ask yourself, what really matters to you? Do you want to be a good parent? It's attainable. Do you want to be politically active? It's attainable. Do you want to help people beyond yourself? Charities? It's attainable. Do you want to be alone? That's attainable too. You will make the choices. The Nets knew exactly what they were getting. Kyrie Irving could not play with Brad Stevens in Boston, blew that up, was a bust because he was always hurt and difficult to get along with pre-LeBron. Then he got to LeBron, and he left LeBron. There were no surprises here. Hard to coach, difficult, his own guy, a lot of ego. Kyrie Irving's exactly what you knew he would be. Then there was Kevin Durant. He delivered on everything he was. Unbelievably gifted, one of the great shot makers of any generation, and a wanderer. For God's sakes, he left the Warriors. All he had to do was show up, shoot, win an NBA Finals, and be the MVP. He left it. And James Harden, by the way, is known as a quitter, somebody who won't go the extra mile and does not deliver in the postseason. Shocker, that's exactly what he was. You look around sports, you look around the NBA, you will get what you seek. And what the Nets were seeking as the second biggest basketball brand, the Knicks in New York, they were seeking attention. And now they are, if KD gets traded, been reduced to Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving and officially the most enigmatic question mark slash mess in the NBA. So there's a story out there today. The Warriors owner, Joe Lacob, goes out and he says, uh, we're not slowing down. We're going to dominate basketball. We've been to six finals in eight years. It's not slowing down. And I believe, and I've always believed this, you become what your market is in sports. There's never been a good Pistons basketball team that wasn't tough. Bad boys. Why? Automotive center, um, the city's history. Detroit's tough. It's tough money. right? A lot of musicians. uh, Blue-collar workers. Tough city. There's never been an L.A. team that wasn't flashy. Like the Lakers are flashy. The Rams are flashy. You play to your market. You become your market. Um, New York is rich and powerful. If you look at New York teams, the Yankees spend the most money. The Giants spend money poorly, but they've always been a team that leans into the wealth. Um, And so I was thinking that Boston's a great example. So Boston's a highly intelligent city. MIT, Harvard, I think there's like 30 or 50 universities within the footprint around Boston. It's one of the smartest cities in the country. What does that mean? It's important to be smart. It's a historic city, politically and in sports. A lot of power brokers. I think Ben Franklin at some point was, I think he was from there, wasn't he? Anyway, let's move on. The point being is when you win in sports in Boston or politics, intelligence is really valued. Red Sox went early on analytics. Belichick and the Patriots always valued intelligence. Uh, Similarly, the Celtics, you got to win the trade, draft and develop. It's not about spending the most money, and they have a lot of money. But what's valued in Boston is intelligence and passion. And so back to the Warriors and Joe Lacob. So San Francisco. So what is San Francisco known for over the last 20 years? It has created more disruptive economies than anywhere in the country. Tesla disrupted the auto industry. Airbnb disrupted the hotel industry. Uber disrupted transportation. I was in Chicago over the weekend. I didn't see a cab. Four days, didn't see a cab. Uh, uh, DoorDash, uh, Facebook, uh, 
let me, uh, Netflix totally disrupted, created streaming, disrupted television, Fitbit, GoPro. And I think Joe Lacob, because he's in that world and has had his wealth, a lot of it as a disruptor, and that's what really Silicon Valley is. It's an economic disruptive hub. They create businesses that shatter, recreate, reinvent, or blow through taxis and hotels and things we always thought to be true. So if you look at sports right now, outside of baseball, there's a salary cap for the MLS, the NHL, the NFL, and the NBA. And late Jacob, Joe Lacob looked at it and thought, wait a minute, I'm in the disruptive hub of the world. Let's be a disruptor. We're not only going to, and most owners in the NBA and all sports are reticent to pay a luxury tax. It's like a double tax. And California's got enough taxes. He says, we're going to do a different thing. We're going to blow through it. We're going to become the only pro sports franchise, not in baseball, to act like there is no salary cap. And we're just going to spend whatever it takes to win. So we can keep Draymond and get Wiggins and pay Clay and keep Steph and, uh, and go after Kevin Durant. They were in the Kevin Durant chase. And so I think you become what your market is in sports. You're a part of it. You live there. You go to schools. You're, in the, you're talking to people. Detroit teams are going to be tough. L.A. teams are going to be cool. New York's going to spend money. Boston's going to be smart. And I think what the Warriors are is a disruptor. We're not only going to go through the luxury tax. It doesn't exist. They spend more money on the luxury tax, I believe I read this, than everybody else spends on their roster. <laughs> it's insane. And I think they are what the market is, disruptors economically. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.